Okay, let's talk about the initial own cloud server configuration. In terms of configuration of your own cloud server, we want to make some changes to it. First, go to personal section and add your contact email in the corresponding field. Here you can also change the preferred language if you need or want to. And most important of all, you can add your photo here. Just joking. Then go to the right top corner of the screen and choose Admin. Here you can check your security and setup warnings, but we will get to them a little bit later. You can see here the settings for sharing. Just go through the settings and choose the options you feel comfortable with. In the external storage section, you may see the note that says SMB client is not installed and so on. If you need it, you can install it by running the command you see on the screen right now. Then head over to the updater section and make sure you have the stable update channel selected. If you feel like experimenting, you may choose beta or daily or even production. But if you want to have a stable system, by any means, please choose stable here. The server-side encryption is a very useful option if you are into some extra security setup. But plan very carefully before you enable encryption, because it is not reversible via the own cloud web interface. If you lose your encryption keys, your files are not recoverable. Always have backups of your encryption keys stored in a safe location and consider enabling all recovery options. For more information on encryption, please refer to the documentation of the own cloud available at the link you see now. Now, let's deal with email server settings. If you want to receive notifications, you better configure it and check if it works OK. You may use SendMail if your provider is OK with that. You may set up your own SMTP server or even use an external one like Gmail, for example. But I'm using the mailgun.org mailing service for my mail to be sent. You may want to check it out. If you get this kind of an error when hitting the sent test email that says a problem occurred while sending the email, you probably just need to make some changes to C Linux configuration. Run the command you see on the screen and there's a very high chance that this will solve your problem. This is all basic own cloud server configuration I wanted to talk with you about. See you in the next lesson.